Hi again, everyone. I'm Ollie Matthews. This is Refuge from Narcissism. Uh, no contribution with this video. I just wanted to guys give you guys an update and, uh, and an apology. Um, for the past two weeks, I have been passing kidney stones. So <laughs> I've wanted to get back to reading your videos two weeks ago, but is to pass five of them already and I knew they were up there from when I had kidney stones back in 2004 I knew they were up there and they always said one day they're gonna come they're they're gonna drop and they're dropping so hopefully the last one will pass this week and you know I'll be able but I'm feeling pretty good right now um <clears throat> anybody who's dealt with kidney stones knows knows what I'm talking about so please bear with me be patient um like I said the queue's not very long at all it's only going to take about a day for me to get through the queue which is what I'll do once I once I get back I will just knock all the videos out in a day I mean I've done up to 20 videos in a day so that's not a problem and I don't have anywhere near that many in in the um in the queue but with um oh he's not on anymore with uh president pudding brain talking you know i thought it would be you know a good opportunity to um remind you guys and talk to you guys about <sighs> look i have discovered a lot of things in the last year you know find, making the connection of the source of narcissism being cultural Marxism, i.e. communism, and how that applies to your everyday lives and what you're seeing on in in um, in society and politically and, and 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 the whole role. You know? And what you have to do and what you have to going forward is, you know, you're really gonna have to balkanize. You're gonna have to make your area redder or move to an area that is red and make it redder and get involved and get involved locally in your politics and in your school board and in your DAs and DA elections and, and your judge elections because all that matters. This is how they got us to this level because for 50, 60 years, nobody paid attention to it. We paid attention to consumerism and other bullshit. We're distracted by many, 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 many other things. As Marxism, communism came in and did exactly what Khrushchev was telling us they were going to do back in the 50s. A couple, a couple rules for anybody and, and I've and I've been beating this drum since the election and I will continue to beat the drum do not worry about what the Democrats do do not worry about what the societal narcissist does do not worry about what the sociopath does don't worry about what the communist does they are all one and the same all of them We've known this is what they've wanted to do for six decades. And we sat around and sat around and said, we'll be the bigger person and uh, the higher plane and whatever you want to do to justify it to, for your morality. And you morality yourself, near, we morality ourselves nearly into the gulags because that's what's coming. That's what's coming if you live in those areas that are controlled by these people. And I told and I've told you, I wanted the Republicans to lose the Senate after the election. Why? Because I was sick and tired of being slow walked. Slow walked to destruction. Don't fuck around with it. 
do it. You want communism? Don't slow. Do that shit expeditiously. So we can see what happens. So it's out there in the open. As you're paying $3, $3.50 for at the pump for gas. Lumber is quadrupled. And these teachers unions refuse to go back to work. These same teachers unions who have created these monsters in the streets. As they have miseducated our children for their own benefit. As we've been slaved away in our jobs. Working ungodly hours. Needing two incomes. Two income families. Leaving these teachers unions to raise and destroy your children the communist is going to do what the communist does and pointing it out to the communist to the narcissist to the sociopath is meaningless they get off on it they get off on it, showing them their hypocrisy, showing them their doublespeak, showing them how it's different rules here and different rules for you, different rules for me, and pointing it out and showing them the receipts and the proof only emboldens them more because it allows them to get, because they just keep getting away with it. And we do nothing. We do nothing about it. We keep thinking that we're gonna if we play if they, you play along and you give them this and you give them that that one day they're going to like you. They don't. They hate you. They hate you and they want you destroyed. Just like that narcissist in your personal life hates you and wants you destroyed. It's the same mentality, the same mentality, the same social structure that created that abuser in your personal life. It is now what is running rampant and controlling society at large. And what have I told you? You cannot let yourself be connected to these people, either by guilt, because you're blood related, because you're ideologically your fellow conservatives or Republicans. Bullshit. You can't worry about what that side does. Why? Why? Because you still have our own enablers running around. Just like the enabler in your personal life will screw you over almost worse than the, than, than, the, than the narcissistic abuser will. It's the same thing with the political enablers. Understand something. Whether Liz Cheney or Elise Stefanik have the position of power in the Republican Party is meaningless. It's pointless. They're figureheads. They're figureheads. The problem isn't Liz Cheney, wasn't Liz Cheney herself. The problem was the 143 supposed conservative Republicans that voted her in in the first place by secret val ballot. That's how she got into that position three months ago under secret ballot. This is the point I've been making about, about worrying about what the Democrats are going to do when you got more than half of your side ready to side with the other side that wants to get back in to those sociopathic policies, that wants to start bombing Syria, that wants to start blowing up shit in the Middle East, that wants to just start dropping bombs on everybody. They still believe it. What do you think? These 143 supposed conservative Republicans didn't know what Liz Cheney was about? And you want us to you want me to worry about what the Democrats do? Look at our own side. <clears throat> <clears throat> Speaking of so, ow. look at our own 
side. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Balkanize, balkanize your areas. Get involved in your areas because it's because that's what matters. You're not going to change a goddamn thing. You're not going to change a goddamn thing unless we have our side walking in lockstep. You don't see Democrats, communists turning on each other. Don't matter what the what ridiculous thing comes out of their mouth, it'll double down on. Oh yeah, they said yeah, yeah, absolutely. 15 trillion, 17 trillion for green. It's not enough. It's not enough, and they'll just keep doubling and tripling down. It's what they do. I can't hate Nancy Pelosi. I admire her fucking balls to stand up there and just lie right out the way she does. And none of these Republicans, none of these Republicans will figure out how to do that, how to emulate that. Not that they're not a bunch of fucking lying scumbags. No, they'll lie to us. They'll lie to their base. They'll lie to the, <laughs> they won't lie to the Democrats. They won't they won't use the Democrats own own tactics against them. No, why oh, we're above that. We're better than that. Oh, great, great. When they're lining you up, you can you can die knowing you, you when you die, you can know die knowing you are better than them. Awesome. Awesome. Balkanize your areas. Get involved. And if you're in one of these cities. If you're in one of these cities, they're lost. You're not getting New York back. You're not getting New Jersey back. You're not. You're not. You're not getting Chicago back. You're not getting LA back. They're finished. They're done. Minnesota is done. Illinois is done. It's finished. And I'll keep saying it. I understand now why they've been screaming fascist and Nazi at us for 50 years now. I never under, I understand it now. Oh boy, I understand it now. Fascism was the only, was the only real ideology that was ever effective against communism, ever. And if they had taught us starting in grade school through middle school, high school, college, that we had saved, like as Gen X, that we had actually saved communism. The United States saved communism. Yet, by the time I'm in school, the communists are our greatest enemy. They're evil. They're decrepit. They're an evil empire. They're all... But the whole Eastern Front was never discussed in school, in history. World War I was barely touched on. The Bolshevik Revolution, none of it, none of it. I never even heard of Marxism, actually, until until college. I never even heard of Marxism. Heard of communism. They never discussed where it came from, its origin. None of that was completely erased. And who did that? Teachers unions did that. Okay? They were softening us up from the get-go. They were softening us up from from the 60s, from the 60s, using who? Of course, the baby boomers running around. Listen, you know my soapbox on this. You know my soapbox. And, you know, and I made another connection even in my personal life, you know, with, with my ex-wife and my father and, you know, I, I remembered something my ex-wife had said to me when we were, when we were in the process of the divorce and things were really nasty with my family, with my father, and how could you do this? And she snapped, and then I thought she was lying when she said this to me. But now the more that I think about it, no, that, that was the truth that, that, that slipped out. And what she said to me was, it wasn't my father's idea to do all this in court, like to, to do what she was doing with me in, in court and to make these accusations. It wasn't my father. It was her coworkers at school. 
these union employees, the one of the union rep. She's like, well, my union rep told me, and this is what, and I didn't fucking buy it. I didn't believe it because, you know, my own blind rage at, at my father, okay? And it is absolutely fucking believable that, that it, you know, he would have planned it from the get. And not that he didn't have plenty to do with it and still does to this very fucking day, okay? No doubt. But because of my rage and my anger, I had completely... Because of my rage and my anger, I had completely discounted that statement about the teacher. And I'm like, and now I'm like, God damn it. That was right. It's right. And it just makes more sense being that my, my wife's been in that. My ex, my, my ex-wife has been in that fucking NJEA now for 21 fucking years. Okay. In New Jersey, in an Abbott district. Okay. I don't know which school she's teaching and whether it's the Johnny Cochran school, the Whitney Houston school, or the Dion Warwick school she's teaching at him. And yes, those are real school. Those are real school names. Those are real school names in East Orange, New Jersey. Where she's probably, where she's teaching, getting critical race theory. Okay, and it would start with Common Core and I'm sure critical race theory and the whole fucking lot of it. So it makes sense. I mean, it makes sense why, where, where, where it started from. So yeah, not only is it coming from my family and my father now obviously is, okay, the real driver, I think the real driver here, even more than my father, is that fucking union she's in. Listen, I still haven't heard a word. I still haven't heard a word from them a word and that's after completely paying off everything i owed them in child not a word and aaron turn aaron turns 18 in less than two weeks <laughs> and now since my name was never taken off the house okay and i went back and i reread the divorce agreement Okay, where it says, I have the right to seek sale of the house, which now I do. I do. And here's the other thing, which is which is absolutely mind-blowing, okay, being that the house was mortgaged to the hilt, from what I remember, okay? Had to be close to 300 grand. Like, I think it was like 320 grand in mortgage between the first and the second mortgage. Okay, the house was underwater 10, 12 years ago. It's not anymore. It's not anymore. <laughs> In fact, it's so, be I guess, because the city fell apart so, so bad. And the inner city, everybody's so desperate to get to the suburbs now. The housing rates has skyrocketed. Skyrocketed. So after getting five, like a five-digit five digit lump sum amount for me okay living in the house mortgage free for 10 years i'm imagining she had to pay the property taxes on it okay so basically you know a small rent payment she could we could still now even though she didn't take my name off and nothing we can still make a good amount of money on this house after all of this after all of this and I called her up there, and I think I might have said it on, on the last, uh, on, on one of the last videos I did, that if I got another one of these calls about people seeking to buy the house, I was going to look into it. And I started looking into it, and that's how, they're like, your house isn't, that house isn't underwater anymore. That house, look it up. And I looked on Zillow, it ain't underwater, just on Zillow. Zillow has it listed at, at half a million dollars. And the people I'm talking to on the phone said it could go for six six fifty at this point, as small as it is for the property and where it is in Bergen County. So you're looking at if we could just let the anger go, 
This is what I'm trying. And this was my point on my other video. I'm sorry if I'm rambling here now because it has been a while since I talked to you. Okay. After all this, she still wants to hold on to the fucking anger. I call. I'm leaving <laughs> messages. She nothing, nothing, nothing. I mean, she could go buy a condo with that. We could sp <laughs> like and go and be happy and be like, nope, 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 nope. Not a word. Not a word. Not a word. Nothing. Just gonna hang on to the anger and the hostility and all of it and be angry. And where does that come from? Where does all that pent up anger and entitlement come from? I'm telling you, it's coming from not only my family, but it's coming from that fucking teachers union. Awful. Awful. And this got all kind of rambly and ranty here. Oh, 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 oh. oh kidney stones suck. So. Let me wrap this up here. So, this societal narcissism, the Marxism, the communism, is what has led to all of this. Okay? Whether it's socially or personally, it is what has driven all of this. Get your validation. Get your validation, but don't dwell on it. This is why I've always told you, trying to go back and prove something to the narcissist or the communist now is meaningless because they're just going to twist your words. They're decadent in their ability to get away with it. They, they get off on it. You need to worry, and that's what I told you, you need when you break off from these people or these people in society, you need to, what have I said? You need to build your own circle, your own family unit, your own structure. Same deal in your town and in society. If you care about American principles the way they used to be, you have to live in places that stand up for it and make sure you make those places even stronger and redder and more conservative. Because those other places up there are lost, are lost. And the only thing, people, you sh we should be looking to, to take on and weed out right now are the ones amongst our own ranks. Those 143 supposed Congress conservative congressmen who voted for Liz Cheney in the first place. They're the problem more than the Liz Cheneys or even the Elise Stefanics are. So, and one final thing, you know, and one final thing, you know, anybody, again, don't take any conservative Republican seriously who says the term McCarthyism and means it. To me, McCarthyism is being, is, is accurately pointing out communists in, in a government social political structure and being right about it and being railroaded that's that's mccarthyism to me okay and please no please don't with the with the arizona audit and all like listen do you really think anybody's going to let that actually all happen or come out there's going to be stuff deleted or missing or rule like worry about now and your future now and your own areas now okay the american communist is no different than any other communist it's like the narcissist is the narcissist a narcissist is a narcissist whether they're american british irish australian german it doesn't matter the stories are all identical why? Because it's spread with Marxism and communism. We've all, I've always said, where is the narcissism the, the worst? It seems it's the worst in Europe, in the UK, where, where, communi where they have been fighting communism, where it, at, where it arose from.
and they don't hate Russians, Russia, because because they're communists. They hate them. They don't hate Russia. Well, they hate Russia. They hate Russia. What they don't hate, what they didn't hate, was the Soviet Union. That's why you keep hearing Russia this, Russia that. Because Russia's not the Soviet Union anymore. That's why. So, all right. All right, so give me a little bit more time. Hopefully I'll pass this, this last kidney stone soon. But anybody who's dealt with them knows they are brutal. Brutal, brutal. I'm just glad I didn't have to have surgery. They're small enough that they go, but oof, they suck. So, you guys know what to do if you want to get in on the queue, set up a Skype or a phone call. If you just want to support the channel in general, again, I am sorry for the delays. I wanted to get back like two weeks ago. Hopefully, I will. The car is awesome. Thank you. It'd be nice if gas prices weren't at $3 a gallon now. But what are you going to do, right? Every time I see a Biden support, I, I, I look for him at the gas station. I look for him. I'm just waiting. Like, <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. This is awesome. No more mean tweets, though, right? Oof. All right, guys. You guys know what to do with the links. Thank you, everybody, for all your support. And, you know, and please keep going back on the, go back through the channel. There is a lot of content in there. People are going and rediscovering a lot of old videos and a lot of stuff they didn't see or a lot of stuff that they rewatched, like they didn't know that was there. I mean, there's stuff on my channel that doesn't pop up, doesn't show it's there, but you got to go, if you go through the videos, you're going to find some stuff in there. So, and a lot of the older videos are getting a lot more play, which is, uh, which is good. So, um, again, thank you everybody. And, uh, I will see you all as soon as, as soon as possible. Take care, everybody. Bye.